Hey everybody, it's time for another random video. This time we're going to be playing Dungeon Man 3 from HomestarRunner.com. Let's go. Yeah, that's a little better. You find yourself in yon dungeon. Thou art surrounded by... THY GRAPHICS! Dungeon Man 3. Behold thy graphics. Press enter. How to play. Be not frightened by all yon extremely good graphics. This is still a thy Dungeon Man game where ye type a lot of words and read even more. Make sure to look at everything, like bread. Try to get everything. Talk to people. Use things. Type I and V to see the inventory. Type save one or two or three to save thy game, and load to load it. Use the up arrow to cycle through previous commands. Press enter to crank it up. Yon Dungeon. You find yourself in Yon Dungeon. Thou art tied up with ropes. The spiked walls of the dungeon closest in on thee. A dongrel skeleton with sharp claws hangs next to you. A bone layeth upon the ground. Obvious exits are nowheres. Look, claws. Wicked sharp. Good thing he or she is dead. Look, bone. A sturdy leg bone layeth upon the dungeon floor. Let's see, we're cut out, we're tied up with ropes, so let's use the claws to cut our ropes. Use claws to cut rope. Now thou art using thy dungeon smarts. You shimmy on all up to the dead dongrel, and it's a razor sharp claw sliced through the ties that bind. Thou art free. Make the bad typing go away, mommy. Note to thyself, the spiky walls draw near. Get bone. Bone grasp. Maybe we can use the bone somehow to jam the wall. He waits until the spike walls draw dangerously close, then thou jammeth the sturdy bone in their collective crawl. The walls shudder and quay and finally withdraw. A stone door opens to the north. Exclamations! What wouldst thou do? I go north. Thou art in a large sanctum. Atop a pedestal ye see a flask. Look, flask. Tis the elusive flask ye have been searching for thy whole dungeon life. Well, let's get the flask. This is it! After years of searching in hundreds of dungeons, thou art finally going to get ye flask. He reaches out thy trembling hand and... Voip! Ah. The entire dungeon, flask included, vanishes around thee. Suddenly thou art above ground under a block and orange sky. Thou wert so close. You must find that dungeon at all costs and claim ye flask. You find yourself at a grassy crossroads. You see a wooden sign. Paths lead north, south, east, and west. Let's look at the sign. It saith the village of Westerberg lies to the east. Goest figure. Well, we should pick a direction. Mm, let's go west. Wow. Not to freak thee out or anything, but there are some seriously creepy, thickly thuckled woods. Yikes. There's a log all lying about. The crossroad lies east. Look, log. Tis all hollowed out like in a kid's story or something. Twould be awesome if there was something inside log. Sorry, thy dungeon man parser in English, my Spanish and idiot are not spake here. Look in log. Okay. Alright. Um, hmm. Look inside log. Some dolt left their gold coins in here. Doesn't anyone bury jars in the backyard anymore? Get coins. Oh my god, some totally de undeserved gold! You pocket that loot forthright. Look forest? Ah, oh, whatever. Let's go east. Yes, back at the crossroads. Well, let's go north. Thou art outside a small monastery. An annoying winer bird sits nearby, marbling and ganching. Crossroads lie south, and the entrance to the monastery is north. Look, bird. Truly an ugly bird, and the sounds it doth make. You can taketh the morbling. It's the ganching that really cheeses thee off. Hmm. Get bird. 
The hungry whiner bird nearly picks off a knuckle. Perhaps if he made friends with it. Hmm. Let's save one. Save them on down. Type load one to get it back. Okay. Monastery. That? Mm hmm. Help. Uh, look. Here we go. Ah, north. The monastery is small and cramped. A large cauldron layeth in the center of the room. A group of robed monks eat at a small table. Oh, wait. Just one really fat monk eats at a small table. Upon the table is a stein. The exit is back south. Upon the table is a stein. The exit is back south. Talk monk. Oh, I didn't see thee come in. Welcome to Fat Monk Monastery. I am Fat Fat Friar. He always tubs if he has seen a rogue dungeon roaming about. There used to be a dungeon on a nearby screen, but that up and disappeared about 183 seconds ago. Hmm, let's look at that stein. I think there might be something to it. Look at like a Frankenbrand stein. Get stein. You snatch up the stein. Suddenly, the mound of monk clubs thee over the head with a mutton chop. You always thought you would look good with mutton chops. Everything goes black as pitch. Thou awaketh. Now thou art inside the large cauldron. Tis full of progressively <laughs> warmer and warmer broth. Fat, fat friar is slicing carrots and potatoes into the stew by biting off chunks and spitting them out. Oh, and he also has the stein. Apparently, that wasn't why he knocked you out. The exit is back south. Please understand, there's nothing personal, says Lord Roundbound. Foodstuffs aren't scarce these days, and thou art. Um, wasn't this guy just eating an entire glazed ham? Um, talk monk. He's done talking. Now he's biting and spitting again. Uh, south? He hops out of the pot and the head is south through the doorway. He made it! Go south! Who would have thought? Thou are never going back there again. Alright, back outside the monastery. Let's go south. Well, first let's check our inventory. A stein, sweet coins, and some stories for your grandkids. Oh, that's nice. Let's go east. He standeth at an overlook, which, surprise, overlooks the village of Westerberg. There is a vegetable cart here, complete with a vegetable cart man and vegetable cart vegetable, corn. A village lies to the east and the crossroads to the west. Alright, look cart. The cart is full of corn. Tis a cornful cart. Look man. Vegetable cart dude looks like the type to would follow around traveling minstrels, sleeping in his cart and selling rotten vegetables to teenagers for gas money. Er, kerosene money. Look Corn. The corn is piled high upon the cart. Tis some good looking cart corn. Look, village. Thou art one big village. At least four or five screens big. Talk man. He asks if he hath seen thine dungeon his travels. Yeah, I think I met that dungeon. One of those intense, crushy with spikes types, right? Last I saw it, it was a couple screens south of the crossroads. Ah, okay. Hmm, what wouldst thou do? Well, let's go to the crossroads then. Oop, wrong. West. Alright, south. Stone bridge arches over a lazy stream. A hideous troll blocks thy way south. The crossroads lie back north. Look, troll. Snarling troll looks like he can't wait to pummel whoever so would cross its path. Well, let's talk to him. He starts to ask the troll about thy dungeon, but the voice cracks embarrassingly, embarrassingly instead. Arr! Hollers the troll. Stop that ganching! You know, pass. I guess he does really doesn't like ganching. Hmm. Doesn't like ganching, eh? I have an idea. Buy corn. He handeth a bag of corn to the veggie cart dude. He hands ye a handful of dried corn in return. Commerce at work. Here you go, says the VCO. Magic happens. Okay. All right. We've got corn. Let's go make a friend. 
give corn to bird. He holds out a handful of corn. The bird stops its whining and hops into your hand. You've made a new friend. He rides quietly on thy shoulder and nibbles corn out of thy ear. Why you put corn in thy ear, we'll never know. Ah, let's see. Ganchin, huh? Use bird on troll. Thy winged friend swoops from the shoulder and dives at the troll, pecking and ganching at his hideous wig. Argh, my style! cries the troll, and throws himself into the stream, drowning instantly. Guess the stream wasn't as lazy as he thought. The bird gives thee a wink and flies off into the black sky. The way south is clear. A clearing opens up for thee, for he lies with unmistakably a dungeon door. Skulls litter the ground. The troll bitch lies to the north. Look skulls. Obviously, thy dungeon means business. Look dungeon door. There's a dungeon door. Thou art sure of it. You can almost hear that flask laughing at thee from within. Open dungeon door. You throw open the dungeon cores and cautiously descend the stairs. The doors slam behind thee. Thou art there art no going back now. Thou art in a large familiar sanctum. Atop a pedestal ye see a flask. Look flask. Tis the elusive flask. Get flask. Tis it! After years of searching in hundreds of dungeons, thou art finally going to get ye flask. He reaches out thy trembling hand and... Voip! What? Oh, right, this again. Thy dungeon vanishes and deposits thee back at the crossroads. Perhaps ye need something to help ye get ye flask. Ye. Ye find yourself at a grassy crossroads. Hmm. Huh. Guess we're gonna have to ask for help in town. He stands in the midst of the village of Westerberg. Music and meat smell assail thy senses. A tavern lies to the north, a pub to the south, and a sandwich shop to the east. Thy overlook tis back west. Hmm, let's go east. No, yeah, east. Thou art standing in front of a poultry sandwich shop. You believe you've seen one of these in Wensley Dyer. Must be a chain. There's a big old sign atop a pole, a window, and exits west and east. Look, sign. It says, yield sandwich shop, and in smaller letters, close today's. Look, window. Looks like a typical poultry joint. There's a disgruntled cleaning guy by the condiment bar. Look, disgruntled cleaning guy. The disgruntled cleaning guy is neither gruntled nor cleaning at the present time. He doesn't see thou either. Look, condiment bar. It's got some condiments on it. Look, condiments. There's some turkey leg grease and some blood. Look, blood. Looks alarmingly like ketchup. Talk, man. I don't think old Disgrunter the Cleanernator knows thou art here yet. I have to knock to get his attention. Knock on door. He settles on over. Sorry, mate, he says. We're closed the days. Thou checks the day, runner, and it's indeed today. But if he knows exactly what you wants, just to ask for it. He sidles on back to the condiment bar. Let's ask for the blood. All right, mate. He opens the door, hands you some fake ketchup, and closes the door, and settles back to the bar. I know that seemed rather random, but think about it. This is an adventure. Rule number one of adventuring is just collect everything you possibly can. No matter what. All the time. Okay, well, let's go north. Into the tavern. All manners of tough street and otherwise fill the dimly lit room, restricting thy access to the bar. Makes it lie south. Look tufts. Unsavory looking fellows, a lot of them. That sounded medieval, right? Say one. Save it on down. Talk, toughs. Unless thou some someone specific to talk to, I wouldn't waste me time. Er, your e time. Hmm. Guess that's not gonna work. All right, let's go south to the pub. The pub's empty, save for a barkeep behind the bar. The door to yon street is north. Talk, barkeep. Ask me old customers stole all me steins and since drink cross the street at yon tavern. If you got your own, you can drink for free. Get drink. Oh, uh, use stein? Come on right up. Barkeep draws a disgruntled looking liquid from the barrel. 
Disgusting, rather. Thou art sure it is mongrel pee. As you quite furtively off camera, you ask the barkeep if he's seen any good dungeons lately. He looks around shiftily, even though the pub's empty, and then says, Gotta watch what you're saying rounds here, love. If I were ye a talky tale Kigalonian in the tavern across the street, he's got a Frenchy type beard and mutton chops. He can help ye. Did he just call you love? Ask about love. Oh, well. Kigalonian, huh? French beard and mutton chops. Well, let's check this out. Ask for Kigalonian. All the toughs at the bar turn around and glare at ye. Apparently Kigalonian is a popular name around these parts. Better pick the right one to talk to. So he had a Frenchy style beard and mutton chops. I believe that would be number six, if I'm not mistaken. He asks the tough if he knows of a place around here where a fella can get a nice dungeon. He smiles. I see old pub barkeep sent ye. Pub's barkeep name is Pub Barkeep? Tigalonian continues, well, if there be dungeons you're looking for, you should seek out the old hag what lives in the woods west of the crossroads. But you'll need a map. Here, take mine. I just been using it to clean me chamber pot anyway. He reluctantly taketh the map. Kiga, as you've just started calling him, goes back to his body conversation. Look map. The crusty map contains filthy directions for traversing the woods to an old hag's house. Like most things in thy inventory, it spells. Oh, okay. I can go visit an old hag. That's exciting. Let's boogie. To the hag's house. What the? Look door. There's a dungeon door. Well, at least we know where the door is. All right. Crossroad. Overgrown path lies west. Let's go west. Now that you have the map of the woods, you handily navigate the woods into the next plot element. Using Kegelonian's doo-doo map, you traverse the woods and arrive in a small hagstern grove. An ancient hag sits on a stump, fern gullying to herself. A scrapbook sits on the ground nearby. Thy friend the log is back to east. Look, scrapbook. Hoping the hag won't bite off several of thy dungeon fingers, he picks up the scrapbook and flips through the etchings inside. Blood area. The way life should end. An eyeball. And what appear to be three children. He closes the scrapbook and return it to the indation in the ground. Never thee mind what the graphic looks like, it's closed. Talk hag. Away with ye, she shrieks. I speak it only to me dead husband who died of a bloody head. She becomes abruptly silent and goes back to her land before timing. A bloody head, eh? Use blood on self. He taps the bottle and twists the cap, dumping the thick ketchup all over thy head. Perhaps twill help dread thy hair like he wanted in middle dungeon school. Talk hag. Ah! Can it really be ye, Cramforth? The hag asks. If it be, then you wouldn't mind answering a few personal questions about us to prove it, would ye? <laughs> Thou art ready to answer the hag's personal questions? Yes. Very well. If he answers questions three, then I'll know thou art to be precious Cramforth. Where does we go on our honeymoon? We went to Blood Area. What did you get me for me 114th birthday? An eyeball. How many wee hags did we have together? Hold on just a sec, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, we're back. What wouldst thou say? Uh, we had three children together. Uh-oh. Yes. Cramforth, tis really ye. Mistaken thee for her dead husband. Ye suffer several prickly kisses from the hag, which leave the odor of rat liquor on thy face. 
No wonder ye died of a bloody head. Ye forgot thy flasketing glove before ye set out to vanquish that rogue dungeon. Perhaps ye can still defeat that dungeon, even in thy new hotter spectral form. Ugh. Here, she says, and hands ye wicked flasketing glove. Look at the flask, flask getting glove. Boy, thou art ever gonna get ye some flask with this thing. So long, sucker. Okay, looks like the dungeon door is here now. Go in door. Throw open the dungeon door and cautiously descend the stairs. The doors slam behind thee. Look slam. Okay, whatever. Alright, use glove. Ye slip the unfortunately moist flask getting glove onto thy hand. Tis a perfect fit. That flask won't know what get at it. Get flask. This is it. After years of searching in hundreds of dungeons, thou art finally going to get ye flask. Ye reaches out thy trembling hand and grasp that flask. Tap enter at the right time from during this arcade sequence. Wait, no, no, not quite. There it is. He grabs the flask, but thou art so nervous he drops it again. Thou art trembling even more. He grabs the flask a second time, but thou art so nervous he drops it again. Now thou art trembling worse than ever. I can do it. Come on. No. No. Yeah. Hold still. No. Got it. Thou hast done it. Ye were finally able to get ye flask. better close. Thy sanctum begins to rattle and hum. The walls open up to reveal thy new dungeon house. A living dungeon full of mazes, scrolls, keys, and maybe even a dagger. Ye canst believe it. He has thine own dungeon. This thing will keep thee busy for years. He grows to a ripe old age and ye flask becomes thy favorite drinking vessel. He has several failed romances over the years, but the maidens always make the choice between them and the he choose between them and ye flask. Tis hardly a choice at all. Congratulations! Thou art truly thy dungeon man. Thirty-eight out of possible thirty-eight points. Well, I hope everyone enjoyed the adventure, however short and silly it was. I'll see you later. Bye-bye. Mm,